Hey everyone, I've just gotten home from the grocery shop with all my fruit and vegetables and thought I would show you what I do with them when I get home. Just gonna pop the camera down a bit, if I can work out how to do that. Okay, whoops. So, I have just cut up my cauliflower and all I'm going to do is check which um, one section of the vent smarts it goes in and see if anything else that I have breathes the same as the cauliflower um, does. So cauliflower and pumpkin do, and also cabbage. So we can put them all into the same container. We don't need to get a whole heap of separate containers. I'm gonna use one of my big ones and put my cauliflower up here. Now I haven't washed the cauliflower um, the reason for that is for um, to keep it fresher for longer. You don't need to wash anything and um, you just pop it in the containers raw and dirty and then that way when you are ready to cook them, you just give them a quick little rinse if need be and away you go. So I'm going to put my pumpkin in there as well. So that's in the one container. Then I've got some tomatoes here that are a little bit, a little bit soft and squishy. So I'm going to um, leave them aside. I'm going to make bruschetta for dinner tonight, but I need that container. Now, as you can see, there's a little bit of condensation in here, so that's um, that's normal for it to happen. But what we do is, you can either grab a tea towel, you can either grab a tea towel or just a piece of paper towel and wipe out the the condensation in there and if there was any on the lid as well so with the carrots I might pop the carrots in uh, this <laughs> raw and dirty thanks Alana um, pop them in here and if there's too many then I will put them in a smaller one as well they're great for snacks. Now we have quite a few different sizes in the vent smart. So we've got the rectangle ones, we've got the higher, the higher ones as well. And then my favorite little size is this tiny little size. Now these are great, I've got some grapes here. So I'm going to, oops, I've just used the wrong container, that's okay. I'm just going to pop some of the some of the grapes. Just get my scissors actually. because I don't know about you, but kids don't generally go into the big containers and get things out to eat. Oh, chop my head off here. So I'm just gonna pop this little container at the front of the fridge so then when Layla looks in the fridge, it's the first thing she sees. And with a bit of luck, that's what she'll choose to snack on. I do that for strawberries as well. Um, now these aren't washed and Layla's old enough, she knows to wash them. But when she was younger, I would wash the strawberries and grapes so then she would just grab them out. So she, she would know to wash them. I've just put them in the wrong container. Swap the grapes over. Now, as I said, when you have um, something that breathes the same, so in this little um, diagram here, there's three uh, different ways that they breathe. So they're either, they are either heavy breathers, like uh, broccoli and corn, so they need to be open the vent at the top, or you have the... Um, the vegetables that are, are light breathers, so they can all go in with the closed vent, and then you have medium breathers. So anything that's in the same category can actually go in the same container, which is a, a big money saver as well. So I have some broccoli, or broccoli, whatever you want to call it, and I have some baby spinach. Now baby spinach takes up a bit of space, because it's quite, um, you need quite a lot in some recipes. So what I do is I pop the baby spinach in the bottom, and then I stick the cauliflower on top because they breathe the same. And then that way it pushes, um, it pushes down the baby spinach as well. And then with the strawberries, I find they last longer in the, in the taller container where they're sitting on top of each other rather than just all in the, in the um, lowest. Oh, look at all this packaging, it's terrible. Um, into one of these as well and I close that vent as well. Uh, what else did I have? Just some lemons. Now lemons, um, a lot of people keep them out, but I find that they last long, uh, longer in the fridge. So I put them in the closed one as well. Now um, I like to have lemon in the morning, um, squeezed in my water. 
And this is the little vent that goes on the top. So you've got the three little um, diagrams here that you follow, super easy. You just put this, um, you can even, I'll show you a little trick that someone taught me. If you put the lid on, if you put the lid on, on the opposite side of the diagram, you can actually look at the diagram and completely um, follow the diagram and not even have to think about it as well. Uh, so a big, huge, big money saver in our house. So if someone said to me, um, I don't have any Tupperware, where should I start? Um, a lot of people think the pantry, but the biggest um, money saver would def I'm holding a cabbage, not a vent smart, would definitely be the vent smarts. This would save you the most amount of money, no throwing out of vegetables. Um, I don't know about you, but before, if you don't have these, you might uh, put your things in plastic bags and stick them in your crisper. And then a week later, they're all going moldy and gross and you just don't use them. We all have good intentions of using things, but we're busy people as well. So sometimes um, things don't get used for a while. I don't think I've ever thrown out any sort of um, things, uh, vegetables or fruit since the since introducing the smart. So it's, I, I never waste money on fruit and vegetables. And let's face it, things like that are, um, can be quite expensive, especially strawberries at the moment. I noticed, which was a bit ridiculous, but we love strawberries. So if you've got any questions, please let me know. And thanks for watching.